Hi, this is Joe Briscoe from PLC Multipoint. I'm the product division manager for our PLC buildings and sensors divisions. I'm here to talk to you today about our sensors that have been leading the industry for more than 20 years. We have photo sensors that are ideal for indoor, outdoor, skylight applications, as well as atrium applications. These sensors come in a variety of housings for the different mountings, and also those housings allow us to have different view angles for each of the sensors. So a skylight sensor might have a 120 degree view angle, whereas an indoor sensor is only looking at about a 60 degree angle. These housings also allow you to mount the indoor sensor looking down at the reflectance of the surfaces. The skylight sensor is mounted up in the skylight looking at the light coming through the skylight. And then our outdoor sensor is mounted in the exterior of a building. You see here that it has a hooded feature so that it doesn't get direct sunlight uh, facing into the sensor. And that's ideal for getting a wide range of foot candle readings. At PLC, we have two unique families of sensors. We have the CES sensor as well as the MAS sensor. What makes those different is the CES, CES sensor is based on a voltage output. So you can have a 0 to 10 volt, 1 to 10 volt, 0 to 5 volt, 1 to 5 volt sensor output. The MAS sensor is based on a current output, 4 to 20 milliamps. This is ideal for integration with HVAC systems or building automation equipment that typically takes that 4 to 20 milliamp input. Another advantage is that uh, the MAS sensor allows you to have long distance between the sensor and the controller. The milliamp output allows you to up to 4,000 feet from the sensor to the controller, whereas the CAS sensor is used in more local control where you have maybe 1,000 to 1,500 feet. So these sensors are used in typical outdoor applications, let's say parking garages or parking lots. The MAS is ideal for large parking garages so that you can put those sensors in a variety of places and take those readings back to your controller over a wide range of areas. The MAS sensor also, being that it's microprocessor controlled, has a unique feature where you can calibrate the sensor in the field. The two wires from the sensor that are brought back to the controller can be disconnected from the controller and connected to our calibration unit. We put the calibration unit into the programming mode. It'll detect the settings that the sensor is currently programmed at. Here we see it's a 2x range as well as a zero time response. I can change those settings. Maybe I want to go to a half setting on the range and change the response time. I can then hit the programming button again. It'll send those settings back up to the sensor and now the sensor has changed to operate in those conditions. The sensors from PLC Multipoint all come pre-calibrated at our factory. That way the customer doesn't need to make adjustments to the sensor in the field. The CES sensor has the 0 to 10 volt or 1 to 10 volt output. The nice thing about having a 1 to 10 volt output is that the uh, sensor, if you ever break a wire or it's disconnected and it'll see zero foot candle reading, that'll be the zero voltage. That can be detected as a failure at the controller. I have that simulated here that I can go ahead and disconnect the wire and then I'll see a felt condition come back on my controller. That way you can detect when you're having failures in the field due to wiring versus any other failure. Specify PLC sensors for the quality, reliability, dependability. It's particularly for outdoor applications such as site lighting, parking garages, or parking lots, and indoor applications where you can take advantage of daylighting, dimming, as well as skylight applications. Music